you have just bought AMS2 Automobile Lista 2 from Steam, downloaded it, launched it, and you don't know where to do, where to start, what to do, you have no idea. But you have clicked on this video, which shows that you have done your research to see where to look. And I'm going to tell you what to do and what you need to do if you have any issues. So let's get into Automobilist 2 and see what we can do. So you will see here, you will be starting with Razer Studio. So I'm just going to go through this. So you will be seeing everything from the actual startup. So you see here, it's taking a bit time to load. When you know it's loaded, it's gone red. Here you see a lot of brands. Here, powered by Madness, Jeff Mod, Love Truck, and Fanatec Extreme Simulator. And here you get into the screen. And before you do anything, I wouldn't choose any of these, but I would go directly to options. And here is where the interesting things are. So I would first go into controls and to set up everything. I would even if you have like Frostmaster Fanatic or anything, I would set it up as custom or legacy DD or what it is. I don't want to put it in a brand because that has brought in a lot of issues for me personally and for others. So custom is what I use. The pedal type separate and here you can calibrate and choose your settings. Then we get into configuration. Wait, I would just put all that. We go into configuration. Here you have the dead zone and sensitivity. I would recommend throttle sensitivity and brake sensitivity at one because throttle sensitivity at one makes it less prone and it makes it actually a lot easier to drive in my opinion. Does it feel a lot different? Brake though is very important in my opinion because if you drive with a load cell pedal or any pedal actually and you press your brake and let's say a Formula 1 car, the Formula Ultimate as they're called in this game. There, if you just press it hard, you will brake hard and then you just lift it up. And obviously you will, you will be able to see. Uh, you won't have to lock as It won't lock the brakes as much. But if you try to do the same in, let's say, an old F1 car from the 60s or 70s, it won't work. But... With brake sensitivity 1, it will be the same for all cars. And that I've noticed, and it's really nice. So your your muscle memory is a lot, gets a lot better. And it's also easier because you don't have to relearn for every car. It's roughly the same. Then we get into assignments. Here is where you can choose your primary and your secondary options. So if you have a button box, like what I have down here, a stream deck. You won't be able to see it or here, you, okay, you don't see it, but I have a stream deck here and I use that as a button box. So what you will be able to do is put it at secondary, which you can see here I'm using VJoy. So here the most important obviously is the left, right, throttle, brake, clutch, gear up, down, and here are for the manual cars, manual in motion. Then we get to the vehicle. You will see all of these ignition, start engine, headlights, windscreen wipers, boost, ERS mode, pit stops, and all of these other stuff, which are really interesting, like this active suspension. Then we get into assistant, which is your, as you can see here, TC, ABS, auto shift, steering assist, and also these. And these are also, the top ones here, down to here, are all on board as you can see which means they depend on the car depending on your settings and all of these are global for all cars camera view is as it as you hear and game is as you can hear your income management split times you can cycle the hood in game chat box all of those stuff then ffb here you can choose your different ffb settings I usually run custom, default is normal, default plus is more info. But custom is what I use. Then I use, I think it is 65-0-25-0. And the menu spring strength is how much this goes to normal. 
I would maybe I would like to run it at zero, but I've noticed that the steering wheel, sometimes mine, jolts to one side and then it doesn't go fully to the middle. So maybe 20 would be good, so it's not super hard. Then we're done with configuring there. Then you obviously want to configure your performance. So here is your graphics, which is your resolution, window, texture, and all of these. There are some recommended settings, and I will be showing you websites where you can access them. Then you have audio, which explains for itself what it is. System, this is for shared memory if you're using a dashboard, like if you have it here, or if you use SimHub, which I use. So I have these on, on Project Cause 2 and UPD free, UDP Frequency 5. I have no issues whatsoever. Then you have the triple screen here, which is the height, width, and everything. Then you have the audio. We have camera. Where is the FOV? I run this. At this I'm not fully sure because I do some other stuff, so I don't fully know my FFV. Then you have the movement. This is what I like to do. I don't like to have helmet, helmet depth for field, no movement, leaning, look at apex, head movement zero, but legacy head movement no because if you have head, legacy head movement on it means that it's like you are actually sitting in the car so if the so the the car's actual dashboard that car on the street doesn't move the everything around it moves so the car is like still but if you have head movement zero and no legacy head movement that means that if the car goes up a hill or down a hill, the camera will move up and down as in you're actually sitting in the car. So that is what I like to have. Visual effects are quite nice stuff. If you want like bloom, heat haze, exposure, raindrops, these type of stuff. Then you have camera which we saw. So that's these. And as I said before, if you have any issues, where should you go? First website I would recommend is forum.razorstudios.com where you have everything, all information here. You have the announcements, you have the general discussion, and here you can ask all the questions you want. Like, you can have your custom FFP, you have a telemetry tool here, more knowledge of our, you have a lot of discussions on stuff here. You have general ones, you also have from the older games, which they have. And also the paddock launch, which I won't be showing you because that's for only for beta testers. So that's the first website. Then we go into the second one, which is one I actually made, which is the Automobilista 2 Fandom Wiki, where you have a lot of interesting information. So here you have setting up AMS2, you have the recommended force feedback settings here showing, then you have the graphics, custom force feedback, game settings, content, where you could just go here, choose a car, oh, let's choose the F309. What specs does that have? And then you see everything here. I will be updating this website a bit, so maybe when you're seeing this, or a bit later, I will have a bit more information on the website. But a good thing is, you can actually work on it. So, if you have anything you want to add to this website, just do it. And then, that means we are done with this website. And let's get into back into the game. And let's go through these. Race menu. Oh, no, I don't want to exit. Race menu is where you choose your races with AI. As you can see, we have a stock car around Azure, which is Monaco. The championship is where you choose your own championships. So you can have these default championships and they edit championships. So you can add vehicles, add tracks and other stuff, which is very nice. Then you have multiplayer, which shows you obviously the multiplayer servers. If they want to show up. Okay, it's taking a bit long time. So because of that, they have the official events, which is their TT ones, but they haven't done them for a little while due to, I don't know why, but it seems like have they started again. 
Oh, yeah, they have started again. I thought they hadn't. Oh, well, it seems like they have. So, you can see here that, yeah, oh, week 28, 28, oh, you see here. There you have t uh, test day, which is where you can drive any car around any track you want in the game, where you can choose different settings. Oh, which brings me on to here. Gameplay did it go through, I think. I forgot that. So you can see here the display is the telemetry, your track map, and show lap info, and all of these stuff which you can see here. The authenticity is what you have for fuel, steering, braking, and all of these. When I do test day, I like to have tire wear off, a fuel usage off. Automatic engine starts no or no. Yeah, I like to have that at no, but I've had a few issues, but I, uh, I don't know what to do. So these are what I like to do. Then, obviously, I just forgot also. Here you can see the stats of your races, as you can see. Not so good. Well, I focus mainly <laughs> engineering a lot, you can see here. You have the offline I like to do, affinity, your favorite vehicles. This has worked switched up, but I don't use it a lot. McLaren MP4 for and Mercedes Benz CLK LM and favorite tracks. And then you have also your replays, which you can see there. And then finally, you have time trial, where you can see choose any car around any track, which you can see here. No record set. So that's. Obviously, interesting. You ha I have a few mods installed too, which that's like the Mojave you will see. But let's see Montreal. Does it have any? It has a guy. So, if I want to, or we do this actually, if you want to do some setup work but you don't know good setups, then go to here. They can choose Add Ghost and let's choose World Record. And let me just get into here. And I will show you every few of the car settings. And for TT, it's the same things as of recording this. What I mean is the weather, it's the same for everything, everyone, and everything. So then you can see here my screen. I will just turn that off currently, as you can see here. Then you have the tuning setup. So you can see here, you have this is the default. So you can see you have the fuel steam log papers. All of these are explained on my other wiki if you have any questions. Then you have the toes brakes chassis where it adjusts those things. Suspension you have here too a lot and drivetrain. So these which are grayed out are what this car doesn't use. So that's that and if you have any questions or like oh I don't know what to drive then you want to go into this press like that and here you have the ghost cars setup and there we can also drive and I think I can show you some stuff here you see the different views you have if we cycle through them you have the normal view oh wait let me just go back here and so, like that. So you have the normal view. You have a bit more simplistic. You have the telemetry which shows the travel, height and all other very interesting stuff. And you have nothing at all. So here you can see all of these stuff. And if we go into income menu, here you can adjust all of these different stuff. To do with the race car if you want and that is as in you can see here so stuff if you don't have bottom maps you can just adjust like so and i think we are done because i've gone for everything to do with this game so if you want to start up you can choose as i said you saw what i did so this is how you can start with AMS 2 but next year they will be making or whenever you're watching this I say 2024 it's re being reported by their CEO or how you want to call him Renato Simeone 
that they are going to do some a overhaul of the menu and when they do that i will do another video on it but yeah so that was it if you have any comments just comment it down below once you're done there please hit the like button and also subscribe my next video we'll see what that's on it can be on lemur if they have added it it can be on what more do we have i don't fully remember but we'll see hopefully lemur because that's my favorite circuit that there's also adding lmdh cards which may be my favorite we'll have to see but until then i'll be racing legend you've been my amazing verse. thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>